I was in university. I went to a convention when I was in college, uh, the Muslim Students Association convention, and I did not know any Arabic at the time, right? And we went to the Fajr prayer, and this brother, I still remember his name, Brother Saif. I still, I don't know where he is and who he is still. But I, I remember he led the prayer, and he recited. I didn't know much Quran at all, and he, re, he was an Iraqi fellow. And he recited Surat Qaf. I didn't know it's Surat Qaf at the time. I didn't know, I didn't even read Quran properly at the time. And he recited Surat Qaf. And I remember crying my heart out in Fajr, not knowing what he's saying. And it's not even like social crying, like the guy next to me is crying, so I'm like, okay, I'll cry too. No, no, no. It's the the word of Allah was just, it was doing something to me because of the beautiful, magnanimous way in which he was reciting the ayat. And I had to find out. And then I there was a big crowd, I couldn't find him. So I asked, do you know what surah he was reciting? Do you know what surah he was reciting? Do you know what surah? Like, I needed to know what is it that he was reciting. And that got me reading the translation of Surat Qaf, and it got me curious about reading translations to begin with. Like I was already heading towards Islam, but like the real Quran curiosity, one of the pivotal moments in my memory is actually listening to powerful recitation of the Quran. So I don't think we should undermine the power of this, the power of just the sound of the Quran echoing in the world. Ah, ah, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen